All right. Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> um, so welcome, everyone, and by everyone, welcome, Alex. Um, we're glad that you decided to join us today to learn a little bit more about something that we're super passionate about. So um, you're here for ASL and Deaf Culture, which we're excited to start. Um, anyways, my name is Marin. I'm a psychology major with a human services concentration and an American Sign Language minor. And um, I love sign language really just because one, I find deaf culture really fascinating and just really beautiful. And I love to learn about it. And also I'm hoping to use sign language in the future, um, either interacting with the deaf community or just through my career as an occupational therapist. Yeah, and I'm Reagan. Um, I'm a junior at APPS, I'm 20 years old. My major is communication sciences and disorders and my minor is in American Sign Language as well as Spanish. And I just love learning languages and I think ASL, it is such just a beautiful language and you get a whole nother culture to connect with that um, is very prevalent in the US and so it's just, it's great. So we both have a big passion for it. So yeah, to try and break the ice a little bit, we would like to learn a little bit about you. So are you interested in sign language? Well, what made you interested? And do you have any goals for sign language? Um, I heard about, yeah. And I, I just think the idea of sign language is, is cool because you can speak without sound, which is useful for like library settings. Um, my my partner finds it really interesting, which which uh, kind of pushed me in that direction. But I mostly just want to know some basic phrases and maybe know how to fingerspell. Awesome. Well, you are in the right place. <laughs> cool. Okay. So now we thought we would start teaching a few signs. Uh, we thought it was interesting, interesting and relevant for alumni you know, obviously having app state signs. Um, if you ever need to, feel free to ask to slow us down or ask for clarification. Um, we're, not, <laughs> we're not gonna go over the ABCs, but we do encourage you to learn that if you're, if you're interested. Um, in the chat, we posted a couple of links and- um, uh, I do not have access to those. I think I, I joined a little bit later. Oh, you don't oh okay. Well, I can repost those. Let's see. Do you see now? Okay, sweet. So yeah, um, yeah and versus, um, they can help you learn vocabulary as well as the ABCs. So we definitely encourage you to um, visit those if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the first sign that we would like to start off with is just the basic app state. What would that look like? So the way we sign it is spelling app, which <laughs> is a little bit, incorporates a little bit of finger spelling, but it's the letter A that looks like that. So yeah, just your fingers stick in. So A, P, then it is the next letter. And like a P sign with your thumb in the middle, but it's face down. Yep. And then two P's. So you can space it like that. So yeah, app. A, P, P, yeah, and then state. So the sign for state is your left hand straight up or your non-dominant hand straight up and then your dominant hand in the letter S, which looks just like the A with your thumb wrapped in front and then up mm. two times, yeah, state. So yeah, so that would be app, A, P, P, state, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's the first sign. The second sign is college. So you're going to have mm. your hand flat, non-dominant hand flat. Then you're going to take your other hand and mush them together and then go up. So college. And then if you're talking about university, you can do a U-shape university. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next sign is student. So that would be, let's imagine this hand flat, almost like a book. And you take the information and you put it in your brain. So yes, that is to learn. And then in sign language, there's a marker that makes it a person, a little confusing, but yeah, then you go like this. 
just two hands down. So that basically means a learning person or a student. So yeah, student, learn person. Yeah. Hand doesn't bend like that though. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so next we have student. So we're going to have teacher. It's like you're pulling the information out of your brain. Teach. And then the marker. Teacher. Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. Great. The next one is library, relevant for college students. It's the letter L, which I think everyone <laughs> knows this. If you speak English, you know the letter L. But it's L and you move it in a circle. So yeah, library. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to have study, which you take your non-dominant hand like you're looking at a piece of paper, and then you have your fingers, and you're looking study. <laughs> Soaking up that. the information, yeah. <laughs> the next is PSU, or the Plymouth Student Union. So you have the letter P, remember? There's just that P sign that's down, P. And then the letter S, which we learned as well, P, S, and then U. It would be your two fingers up. Yeah, just like that. So P S U. Yeah. All right. So the next one, we're going to go over major. So non dominant hand flat like this, and your other hand is going to go up major. And then minor is similar, except you're going below your hand. So mm -hmm. minor. Yep. The next one is alumni. So you're going to take your hand in a fist and put your palm, your palm facing down. And you're going to take the letter A that we learned before. You're going to go around your wrist and then plop it right there. Yeah. Yep, so alumni. Yeah, that's great. Now we have graduate. Or graduate. No, graduate. OK, so flat <laughs> hand. And then you have a little. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. A little swoop and then a little swoop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. And that's all the signs that we're going to teach today. We figured about 10 signs was about as much as people could, could handle learning at one time. That's about all I can learn at one time. So that's about it. And so moving on to our deaf culture portion of this lecture, we think that it's really important to include deaf culture because not only is it extremely rich, but it's necessary for learning ASL. So when we first began, neither of us even realized that there was a deaf culture. It's not really something that you hear about much, but um, as with any language, learning the culture is just as important, if not more, than learning the language itself. So as you just learned your first bit of ASL, you might recognize that it's not exactly the same as English. It's not just another form of English. ASL is its own language, has its own rules and grammar that it makes it impossible to directly translate into English. So this is just something to be thinking about as you continue researching and looking into ASL, you'll notice that it is not the same, it's not a direct translation. So with that being said, here are some suggestions to think about when you're interacting with the deaf community or the hard of hearing community. So when you meet a deaf person, um, it may seem like common knowledge, but a lot of hearing people feel the need to raise their voice or shout even. Um, but no matter how much you shout, they're not going to be able to hear you. So um, that's just something to keep in mind is you don't have to raise your volume. And the next most common thing anyone who is in the deaf or hard of hearing community knows about is being constantly asked if they can lip read. And you should not ask um, yeah, we were trying to think about how can we display why you shouldn't ask uh, if a person can lip read. And we found a resource that explains it perfectly. So it says, um, can you lip read? Well, no, not all hearing people can either. Reading lips is not something as specifically that deaf people can do. It is something that deaf people have done and sometimes need to do in order to exist and participate in a conversation where signing is not an option. Most people cannot read lips, but it is also virtually impossible to read lips accurately 100% of the time. So yeah, I think that was a good way to describe it. 
Another thing to keep in mind is making sure that you don't um, show one sign and also pretend to know more than you do. So the way that we were thinking about this is um, sometimes hearing people might come up and see that someone's deaf and say, oh, I know a sign and they say something. Um, a lot of the times it's like something silly or um, yeah, profanity or something, yeah. <laughs> a lot of the times. Um, so we were thinking of, for an example, if someone came up to you and said, oh, I know English, bread. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then that was all. Um, it's, um, you, you don't truly really know the language, and while deaf people, the deaf community appreciates people learning sign language and learning about their culture, sign language isn't, necessarily just a fun hobby. It's their way of life. Mm -hmm. And yeah, finally, so deaf culture doesn't consider hearing loss to be an impairment or something that's unfortunate. Instead, it's something to be proud of. And if you've ever met a deaf person, you know that they're very proud in their identity as a deaf person. And deafness is so unique that it has its own beautiful culture to be a part of. And so just be aware of language that you use when you're speaking to a deaf person, not to use words in your vocabulary such as impaired or broken. And as I'm going into like more of the medical field, I know a lot of people in the medical field think that hearing needs to be fixed or it's something that should be fixed, but that is not how it's thought of in the deaf community. So just words to be aware of when you're speaking with other deaf people. So yeah, those are just some common things that are experienced across the deaf community um, that we thought we would bring to light because before we started ASL, I had never thought about these things before. And so we thought it was great that we get the opportunity to share this information with, with you guys. So yeah, do you have any questions? Um, I don't think so. Uh, it, it, it was really interesting to learn about like the existence of deaf culture. I, I hadn't thought about them having like a complete kind of group culture to themselves and that's really, really cool. Yeah, it's not really something that's really portrayed or, you know, shown a lot. So it's, it's great to learn about it. But yeah, looking as we have a little bit more time, would you like to learn some phrases? So not just individual signs, but whole phrases? Uh, sure. Cool. Okay, so the first sentence is going to be I, so point to yourself, love, and then we're going to use the sign we learned earlier, so app, state, I love app, yeah, yeah so yeah, and the next one would be, I graduated from App State. So you can say, I graduated. Normally, and this is where the English kind of gets in, but you wouldn't really say from App State. You would just say, I graduated App State, App State. And that's where you can kind of see a difference between the English and the ASL, so. <laughs> the last one we were thinking about um, is I support at state. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. And I believe that is everything we have. So are there any more signs you'd like to know about or phrases or anything? Um. Back when I went to App, I took German. So what's the sign for German or Germany? Good question. Yeah, you're going to put your hands together like that. And then, yeah, wiggle your fingers. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> fun to do. Thank you. Yeah. So if you were going to use that in a sentence or something, you could say, I speak which is just four, four fingers, I speak German, something like that, if you wanted to say that, so, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, Marin, can you think of, of anything else? I think that's all we had. 
Yeah, I think if you don't have any more questions or signs you're interested in, I, th I think that wraps it up. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, that we was really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate you coming and joining us. And we hoped that you, you learned something cool or something that you didn't know. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.